you're watching News Epicenter with me, Maria Shakil. The political fight continues in the national capital over Liquor Gate with Deputy Chief Minister and the man who oversees the excise department in the eye of the storm. Manish Sisodia, who was questioned for nine hours, is one of the 15 accused named by the agency, that is the CBI, in its FIR, alleging multiple irregularities in the now withdrawn excise policy. The CBI says his questioning will be examined and uh, he will be called again if required. The Amati party continues to allege political vendetta with party workers hitting the streets accusing the BJP of using central agencies as political weapons. In fact, Delhi Chief Minister Advint Kejriwal called the agitation a second freedom struggle comparing Sasodia and Satendra Jain, who is also in custody, to freedom fighter Bhagat Singh. The BJP has now accused the Ahmadmi Party of insulting the freedom fighter. But beyond this political fight, the question remains, was the liquor policy a compromised one? Were top Delhi government officials paid kickbacks to help some liquor merchants establish a monopoly in the capital and divert revenue from the government's coffers? Moreover, if everything was above board, why was the policy withdrawn by the Delhi government? The political temperature between the Ahmadi Party and the BJP continues to rise, especially ahead of the Himachal Pradesh and the Gujarat elections, where the Ahmadi Party aims to expand its footprint and make an entry. But before we tackle these questions with the guests, here's what happened today. Two months after CBI officials raided his residence, in connection with irregularities in the Delhi government's excise policy, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia was summoned for questioning by the agency. And the Ahmadmi Party pulled out all stops to turn the summons into a show of strength. Sisodia left home after a Tilak ritual, accompanied by top leaders of the party. As art workers lined the streets, he took out a roadshow in an open roof SUV, waving to the crowds. He declared that his arrest was imminent due to upcoming elections in Gujarat. Sisodia even made a stop at Mahatma Gandhi's memorial and compared himself to the father of the nation. जिस तरह से बापू को सदन्त्र में फंसा फंसा के अंग्रेजों की सरकार ने झूठे मुकदमे कर करके जेल में भेजा, आज मेरे ऊपर भी एक फर्जी मुकदमा करके मुझे जेल भेजने की तैयारी की जा रही है. Finally, Sisodia made his way inside CBI's headquarters, where he was presented with evidence in the case and statements of the other accused. As he was questioned, art workers gathered outside CBI's office, raising slogans and protesting against the summons. Several art leaders were promptly detained by the police. The senior police officials are on the ground. The SHO, local SHO from this area, Lodi Colony area, is now making announcements asking them to vacate from this location. The Vajra Vahan has also been placed in position. Art convener and Delhi Chief Minister Advin K. Trival firmly put his weight behind his deputy, even tweeting a cartoon depicting Sisodia as a hero. Abhi unho ek Gujarat aana tha, lekin aaj in logon ne Manish Sisodia ko giraftar kar liya. Wo nahi chahte ki Manish Sisodia Gujarat mein jaake chunav ka prachar kare. Main Manish ji ko kehna chahta hoon, ab chunta mat karo, aapke na aane se prachar band nahi honne wala, ye saari janta prachar kar rahi hai, ghar ghar jaake prachar kar rahi hai. The BJP claimed AAP is behaving like it has won the World Cup of Corruption. ये जश्ने भ्रष्टाचार हैं, जिस प्रकार से मनीष शिशोदिया आज एक खुले कार में अपने समर्थकों के साथ नारे लगाते हुए फूल माला डाले हुए निकले हैं। It seems as if the आम आदमी पार्टी has won the World Cup of Corruption. Sisodia is accused number one in CBI's FIR on the now scrapped excise policy, which handed over the sale of liquor to private players, shutting down government run outlets in the capital. So, is it political vendetta or is the law catching up with Mani Sisodia?
And we are now getting Manish Sisodia's first reaction after questioning where he claims CBI officials are involved in Operation Lotus, claiming they were trying to poach him during questioning. Sara case Farzi. I know that the case is Farzi and today I have asked for 9 hours in the CBI. I have asked for 9 hours in the CBI. I have also understood that the case is Farzi and that the case is Farzi. और किस तरह से इन्होंने पूरी साजिश की गई है इन्होंने सीबीआई में जो मेरे खिलाफ केस करा रखा है वो दिल्ली में एक्चुअली ऑपरेशन लोटस को कामयाब करने के लिए करा रखा है साइड में मुझ पर दबाव बनाया गया कि आप आप छोड़ दो आप में क्यों हो मैंने कहा क्यों बोले ये केस आपके ऊपर ऐसे चलते रहेंगे नहीं तो दूसरा फायदा आपको वो लोग मुख्यमंत्री भी बनाएंगे फिर Joining me now, Shazia Elmi, National Spokesperson of the BJP, Priyanka Kakkar representing the Ahmadi Party, Mudita Garwal, Vice President of DPCC, Ashwini Dubey, Advocate of Supreme Court, we have Yashwardhan Azad, former IPS officer. Yashwardhan Azad, I'm going to begin with this latest charge that is coming in from Manish Sisodia, that if anything, this is Operation Lotus, and the CBI officials were telling him that you better join the BJP and that you have a chance at becoming uh, 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 the chief minister of the state, that's huge for someone to just step out of investigation and level that kind of charge against the investigative agency. Well, first, uh, I would like to say at the very outset, uh, Maria, that on the face of it, there's nothing wrong because uh, uh, with the investigation, because uh, first he was, uh, an affair was registered on August 17. Thereafter, uh, the investigations were done. He was questioned. All the searches were done. And then now after other people were uh, brought into the reckoning, now this has to be cross, uh, he has to be cross questioned again uh, with the evidence that they have got. The issue is that obviously I, I, I am a little doubtful about the clinching evidence part of it uh, because uh, it, it, there are obviously leaks in the system. And if there was any clinching evidence, it would have leaked through. Now, now technically, uh, there should be no political game attached to it because CBI is doing its job. But as far as the you know liquor policy goes, there are huge, there are too many questions about it. And therefore, to make it a political slugfest is not really good. But it's not only from Manish Sodia side, it is also from the BJP side. So I think it is we, we are doing more the political part than the actual substantive part. Today, after he has been questioned for nine hours, Let's see if, if the charge sheet is, is filed very soon or not. Because mind you, in the in the entire list, there are 10 liquor licensees also. And the charges are corruption, charges are falsification of accounts yes. uh, and, and a criminal conspiracy. So that's a huge charge to prove. And uh, I, I, I'm not too sure whether clinching evidence has been found. Okay. But nevertheless, as far as the procedures go, yes, he has to go through the procedures. Yes, so uh, Priyanka, shouldn't this be seen as pure procedural? That because arrests have been made of two others, he will be questioned. Why make it about him being a martyr or somebody who is, uh, you know, who is a victim here? When it is pure procedure, the investigative agency in its FIR has said clearly that there is a case here that they have found evidence that even, you know, as far as the investigation is concerned, he's accused number one. How do we forget that? Maria, good evening to all of you. Uh, Maria, I would look at it as pure procedure if the same procedure was adopted when the CAG report clearly says that there is a midday meal scam in Madhya Pradesh under the Shiv Shivrat Singh Chauhan government. There is no inquiry there. I would consider it pure procedure also if the CBI and ED had opened their eyes to the uh, illegal spurious uh, illegal uh, illegal sale of alcohol in the state of gujarat for the past 27 years and nothing has happened and 100 people died and their own cooperator were also was also seen manufacturing that illegal liquor at his home in uh, chota udaipur uh, uh, maria we have welcomed all investigations. You know, last count I remember was 169 of which 135 we have been acquitted in. And they all happen in Gujarat elections are obviously much more important than any other election because this is where the PM and the Home Minister hail from. So this is a very important state. Now, Maria, the new allegations which have come up, mm -hmm. which Manishji was stating, which has happened to us previously even in 2014 when Dine Dinesh Mohaniaji made us think um, uh, it was... Uh, 
it is still available on YouTube, but nothing was done about it. Hmm. And even again, you know, like it happened in Karnataka, Arunachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Manipur, Nagaland, uh, Meghalaya, Maharashtra, and Goa. This is the modus operandi of uh, that the okay, BJP Fianca, has. You know, used. forget about what what the BJP is saying. <laughs> this is your own. Uh, this is the paper, which is the cabinet note, which was used by the Amadi Party when they withdrew the policy. It says. Then this naturally amounts to windfall gain for the existing license holders and leading to loss of revenue to the exchequer. These are the words of the Maria, cabinet that note. Is, Maria, so that there is, is a, there is enough reason why you went for a rollback. So the questions that, will be asked as to if you realize that this policy was a verb board, then why withdraw it? In the let, first me please place. Answer. let me please answer. Yes. So, Maria, we've adopted the same policy in Punjab and earned a revenue of 4,000 crores in the first six months. There is no change in that policy also. What happened here is that we were forced to take it back because certain new conditions were imposed on the last day before it was rolled out. But there's an essential change in the new policy and the previous policy is that in the previous policy, the government used to earn revenue on the sale of alcohol. Whereas in the new policy, the government takes a hefty license fee. For example, it was 10 lakh in the previous policy. It is 5 crores now. Okay. So when when we Shazia, could not issue, when Shazia, we could not... When you know, I'm not going to talk changed. about to, yeah, the, usual, please? the usual timing is so a suspect I, here. All, I'm, I'm not going to, to say, ask you about that. One moment, so Shazia. I would just like to, I'm going to say one thing. What is increasingly yeah. becoming clear is that be it the CBI or the Enforcement Directorate, all these agencies are questioning only your political opponents. Look That's at state after state. That is also a clear, clear case. I'm not going to say this is political vendetta. I'm not going to say this is witch hunt. But just explain how is it that all no, the investigation is happening say, only no, no, against the political opponents. You can say anything, Maria. Maria, you are free to... Maria, you're free to ask any question and everybody's free to say whatever they want to say. Go ahead. But I just want to say something hmm. that I wish, uh, I wish the explanation given, gi being given by the Aam Aadmi Party um, um, spokesperson hmm. could be comprehended even by herself. Hmm. Because uh, I just, we just went on a little yatra, you know, Bharat Brahman yatra, when we went to various states, instead of basic questions being asked, uh, uh, being answered, which were, why were 144 crore rupee we were given? That is an important question. And after the first quarter, where 87 percent uh, increase happened in sales of whiskey and 60 percent almost of wine, wh why did uh, the the exchequer not benefit, or there was any increase in the excise when this was precisely the reason why Manish Sodia changed the policy? Now, I want to just point out to something really funny. I don't know how you all missed it. Did you hear what Manish Sodia just said? I mean, I, I don't know, I actually laughed out aloud, but of course, your, maybe your cameras missed it. He's saying that, I mean, so I don't know, I think it just took him this okay. nine uh, hours you know, of uh, uh, interrogation. Shazia, even as we speak, the, no, no, the, the, the CBI, it's very important. The CBI, it's, a, it's important thing. right He's now, saying, because the CBI has issued no, no, a statement. This, Maria, the CBI no, has says, the CBI Ma has said that he was examined strictly in the... Uh, on the allegations in the FIR, the CBI is saying, and the evidence collected so far during the course of I investigation, want to talk about what his statement will be verified yeah, in due course and further action taken as per requirement of investigation. Some sections of the media have aired a video in which, after leaving the CBI office, Sri Manish Sisodia has stated on camera that during his questioning in CBI, he was threatened to leave his political party and similar such insinuations, CBI strongly refutes these allegations and reiterates that examination of Sri Manish Sisodia was carried out in a professional and legal manner, strictly as per the allegations against him in the FIR. This is what the CBI is saying, that this is strictly as per the procedure and the allegations of Operation Lotus that has been leveled by Manish Sisodia is completely false, that they were working in a professional manner. Go ahead, go ahead, Shazia, go ahead. Yeah, so this is exactly, this is exactly what I was referring to, that look at the gall and temerity of this person who I happen to know very well, uh, how he comes out and says that CBI wanted to ensnare me and ask me to leave the party. I just want to tell everybody that Manish Sisodia is hardly the most charismatic leader. He almost lost his election. He barely made it. 
to presume that BJP would want Manish Sisodia is, I mean, I don't, if it's not presumptuous to say the least, it's like most hilarious and idiotic. It also smacks of some sort of, uh, of course, the, the, his ability to lie and uh, his, the, the fact that they are congenital liars, but also as to how, how idiotic the thing everybody, everybody is. I mean, just pulling the wool over everybody's eyes and presuming that Actually, you all are such daft you know. This is the second time. saying we'll talk about Mahatma Gandhi. This is the second time. We'll talk about Dubey. That Manish Sodia is leveling this kind of allegation against the Central Bureau of Investigation. He is saying that they are involved in Operation Lotus. You know what is problematic here is to say such a thing, especially after questioning. I mean, you are questioning an agency. That's all right. You may say whatever because the other opposition parties are saying, but you are saying so that to, they are not professional. You know why? You know why? Ashwini Dubey, you know, that is not something... Professional. No, no, it's far more serious. Yes. Maria, Maria yes. stop being so euphemistic about it. Maria, I think you're being very euphemistic about okay, it. Okay, Ashwini Dubey will respond, sinister. please. I think he knows, I think he knows he's in the dock. I think he knows he's been, uh, he's been Maria, done. I should he's, be done he's, 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 One uh, moment. Priyanka, uh, I'm coming to you. Ashwini Dubey will respond. Yes. Ashwini ma, Dubey. Ma, ma, yes. And that's the reason why he's making... Point accused to come out of the agency and level this kind of allegation. Maria, thank you for having me here. Maria, the law of the land says that once somebody is named in the FIR, an agency wanting his presence, one has to go and join the investigation and cooperate in the investigation. That too. A person who is holding a constitutional post, his allegiance, his commitment should be towards the constitution. What constitution says when the FIR legally registered? Hmm. And if any premier agency is wanting the investigation to be done, so instead of glorifying the accused, his alleged involvement in the offense, one should go and join the investigation. There are three stages in a criminal case. The suspect stage, accused stage and convicted stage. If somebody is asking to join the investigation, it doesn't mean that he has declared accused or guilty. He should go and he should cooperate in the investigation. Maria, one should know that excise department on the direction of respected deputy chief minister decided to refund EMD amounting to 30 crores to L1 bidder. The excise department on a wide order dated 8-11-2021 without approval of the competent authority hmm. revised the formula of calculation of rates of foreign liquor. This is violation of rule 48 sub rule 11b of the Delhi excise rules to 2010. Hmm. The excise department had again relaxed provisions of the tender document. The government hmm. in total disregard of every other segment of Delhi business and economy singularly favored the alcohol merchants, alcohol mafia. Yes. The government floated a tender by incorporating a condition of setting of minimum two liquor weights, hmm. while the entire nation and the media follow the code of not promoting alcohol and its consumption at any attempts are punishable. The government did not take any penal action in accordance with the section there has 41 been, of Delhi. There has been loss to public think, exchequer. There has been loss to public exchequer. That's a fact. Their rates have been tweaked. Favoritism is something that is a charge against the Ahmadmi party and Manish Sisodia in particular. It should be responded on the basis of facts, Ms. Kakkar, rather, no, than, rather than making outlandish charge against an investigating agency. I mean, Maria. Rahul Gandhi was also questioned by the ED. Mrs. Gandhi was also questioned. There are several leaders who have been questioned in these uh, you know, in several years, but none of them have said that the investigating agency is now becoming so close to the establishment that they are also becoming, you know, almost like a tool in which they are being used for Operation Lotus. That's really, really outlandish. But that is what has come out, Maria, time and again. We have seen it repeatedly. I mean, the nine states I just counted, that that is what has happened repeatedly. No, but, no, and but he, and, if he is an accused, and, and me, why can't it be seen as just pure investigation? Why let make it see. about a spectacle? Why make let it like me. a Bhagat Singh? What let is Bhagat Singh see. about it? You will have to let me respond to the charges. Maria, I have repeatedly also techni given technical answers. For example, uh, the BJP spokesperson raised the question of 144 crores. It was a waiver given during COVID. It was after the High Court of Karnataka, High Court of Delhi. Uh, state, there were petitions filed before these High Courts. No, you're talking rubbish. No, rubbish. You're lying through your teeth. 
You are lying through your teeth, ma'am. Can you allow me? Can I? Can I be on the phone? You are lying through your teeth, my dear. My dear, it has nothing to do with High Court, Karnataka, or any of that. You are again talking complete rubbish. It is complete rubbish. You there was a one from the Four Crow River, which has actually been noticed, which is part of which is part of the question. Try being decent. So I think no, I think you are either you don't know or either you are pretending to be a very naive. Your you MCD also behalf, gave waivers, madam. Or you clearly been given something to read because oh this has nothing God. to do with. No, no, no. You're just making up some stories, my dear friend. Just be honest. Once you're done screaming, let me know. And just be honest. As should Manish Once you're done screaming, no, let you, me know. No, no, no. Because I will not allow you to talk. Once you're done screaming, let me know. But 44 crore waiver was given to some vendors. Do you know? No, because the, because the questions are not being asked, which you should be answering. Why was the policy changed? You know, to prevent any kind of cartelization and monopolies. People who manufacture companies which manufacture uh, liquor Maria, are never going to retail. Why did you, you change those laws? Why was the blacklisted company given commissions? Tell okay. me, why was the blacklisted okay. company given okay. commissions? Okay, since you have asked two, three questions, Shazia, Shazia, since you have asked those questions and wholesalers, okay, since you have asked on, specific questions, because, you know, nobody is a fool. Shazia, Maybe since you have asked ask, no, no, specific questions, it, but, let let her respond now. Yeah. You have asked specific questions, cartelization. Favoritism. Let them respond. No, Please respond. She just said Priyanka, something very idiotic specifics. about 144 crore waiver was done after the Priyanka High Court Karnataka High Court judgment. What Karnataka judgment? Okay, Priyanka. What, what kind of rubbish? Let her finish. Let her finish. Okay, okay. Uh, you have, she, has point, she has made a point. She has made a point. And you think you're morons? Yes. She has to make yes. quiet for okay. me to speak. Yes. Okay. Okay, Priyanka. Hmm. Can you please ensure that she lets me? Okay, please make your point, please. I don't have much time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. Give me as much time as the BJP, please. I am saying that these are these are the these are the uh, problems that you see in the policy, right? And what allegation she is leveling about 144 crores, etc., etc., is does not even find a place in the FIR, which has been filed through C sources to the CBI. One thing you can please pick up the FIR and see for yourself. Secondly, if if I please must answer on these issues, notings, also, mention mm -hmm. these. On the basis of which investigation is happening, listen, my dear friend, you I might be trying to confuse people with all this gobbledygook. It's not working. I you think this is your favorite work, word. You are using it a lot. Basic understanding of you have to. Just now you said something else. I have not you had a word with her. You have to please let me be. Please, please, please. Maria, why do you even call us? The question, the question, the question is, is let, let me decide who my panelist should be. Uh, Priyanka, not you. Mudit Agarwal, you have been patient. Here is Aam Aadmi Party clearly ah. saying that there is vendetta, and they have gone several steps ahead to say that the agency is not even professional in its functioning. It will be a long time. Let's understand this: corruption, deceit, and propaganda are the mainstay and pillars of this Kejriwal government. They should follow what they preached. Now, couple of questions. There are four questions I am going to ask the panelists from our party. I am sure. They're not going to answer. The first is the Kesri Bal who started this culture of sting and said that wherever you see corruption, kindly make a kindly report that, do a sting operation and send me. I take action. So you have a sting of Kulvinder Marwa, who is father of Sunny Marwa, a Mahadev liquor who accused number thirteen. In that sting, he is clearly stating how money is given to our party in black. How the commission of wholesale liquor was increased from two to twelve percent, and six percent of that went to Kejriwal government. He also mentions the amount of money around two hundred fifty crores, which was paid by his company illegally to our, our party government. Number one, so mm. there is total silence on this thing. In that thing, you see, our party was talking about that they increased the bid price from ten lakhs to five crores. In an other thing, the involved party actually said why that was done. That was done for cartelization, so that all the small players can uh, cannot uh, bid for five crores. I get so your point. I get all your points. So Since you have, you have asked these questions, these are similar questions. Complete. You know, you have come that's, to me. That, let me ask my. That let that, me ask that has been asked by Shazia Ilmi of the BJP as well. I have just enough time yes. for Yashwardhan Azad. Yashwardhan Azad, let's focus. Yashwardhan Azad, just let's let's focus on that. That is the statement that came from Mr. Manish Sisodia. you know a charge of this nature against an investigating agency coming from a party which always says that they are anti corruption if it is about questioning and he has nothing to hide and let's not forget that if you have so many issues with the investigating agencies then file an application in the courts 
why level this kind of charge that there is operation lotus in which the officers are involved it's an absolute ridiculous and an unfair charge and i'm extremely ha happy that the cbi spokesman has rubbished it you know cbi is a professional organization yes it might be operating at uh, uh, on the orders of the government but as far as the investigations go they are absolutely professional and as i mentioned earlier they are following all the procedures mind you the fir has been registered there is time to file the charge sheet this is the second time he has brought for cross questioning this that's a different thing how much of clinching evidence they have got what happened in the seizures but as far as procedures go you are absolutely right there is no right for anyone to make a charge okay. like that priyanka priyanka, priyanka since all the questions have been directed towards the amadni party you will get the final words please go ahead maria as i'll just simply say this maybe that helps uh we have been charged like i mentioned so many cases okay i won't go there maria we are a government which uh, gives the taxpayer money back to the taxpayer and presents a surplus budget and has the controlled inflation according to the cpi index released by the central government this government giving the money back to the taxpayers earning a surplus in budget and controlling inflation could will be pocketing money or a government which is a negative which has no answers to where the money went which gives nothing to its citizens will that government be corrupt but no questions must be asked of the cag report which in madhya pradesh says that there is a 100 crore scam under the shivraj singh chauhan government no question should be asked against the bjp government where there is an illicit uh, trade uh, liquor trade in gujarat and okay. no inquiry is happening right. for 27 years chazia we will be continuing it is very for clear. the second debate priyanka kakkar mudit agarwal ashwini so dubey and yashwardhan azad you know, thank, thank you so laughable. much for joining me we are slipping into a short break after that i'll get you details It was the day of polling in that historic election that has taken place for, Cogni for Congress Party's President's Road.